So looking from the end, you can see that the uh, the track leaves the helix um, will come through two tunnel mouths into a three platform station which is an adapted Metcalf kit which I have to complete um, so basically we have uh, two tracks that come up the helix um, will run right around the layout and then come back down the inside tracks of the helix so effectively it's like an inverted dog bone layout um, just looking at the helix you can see that I've used um, screwed rod this made it very easy to um, set the, um, the heights so once you set the initial height of the bottom layer it's basically just the same height all the way around then um, so what I did was I cut semicircles MDF by hand um, then laid the cork road bed which um, I cut myself I buy it in a big um, big sheet and then I've got an adapted blade and I just run that along I think it gives me about 22 mil um, on the bottom section it's all um, 1 16th and then in the scenic section which all has to be ballasted and detailed that is the uh, 1 8th or 3 3 mil um, every this is the DCC layout so every single with live frog it's all code 55 Pico um, I'm using uh, the cobalt point motors with the frogs wired I haven't done any modification to the points no cutting everything works exactly as it should um, you can see that um, I've used the uh, inside pylons there to actually wire the helix the um, layout so far is divided into four sections the helix um, has its own PSX AR um, so each section um, has its own um, automatic uh, shut off power shield if you like um, so you can see the helix um, it works out around about two percent the steam locomotives will um, will easily um, manage four to five coaches the um, diesels will basically pull just about anything um, I'll now show you the bottom section of the layout <coughs> 